I am hoping that you can hear me uh, this morning. I am doing something a little bit different today because we had problems yesterday and wanted to, um, I wanted to see if this worked. Hi. Oh, you can hear me. Hi, Sandy. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. All right. So you guys, um, I talked with about the, I was really frustrated yesterday with, uh, the video from, uh, from the Grinch when we did the Grinch face ornaments. And so I did contact my provider and he suggested that I drop, um, the, the line that I was using with my laptop, apparently my laptop is lagging and was causing the whole video to lag. So I really am looking forward to hearing your comments. The only thing is that I use the laptop for the comments. And so I don't see the comments unless I come here and look here with you. So, um, yeah, so hopefully everybody can hear me just fine and, uh, hopefully we won't have lags in the video. I don't know if that's happening or whatever still. Okay. It's okay. All right. All right. So today we're going to be working on something that's called a floating ornament. Um, and I did this with a snowflake. So this is my ornament. It's a plastic ornament and I have put this snowflake and it appears to be floating. Now I did use something called acetate, foil acetate in here. I'm going to tr attempt to take this out. Once you put it in, it's hard to take out, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to take it out without ruining it. But I'm going to show you how to do this technique and all the images that I use for today's project is they're from Cricut Design Space. I cut out my vinyl, which is, uh, this is the snowflake. I cut out the vinyl using this shimmer. Okay. And uh, it is smart vinyl. I'll show you how we cut it. And then these balls are obviously they're very big and I had to finagle um, the inside of the ball to figure out what size to cut the acetate on. So um, I'm going to show you that and then we'll put it together. And it's really, it's a really cute option. There's so much you can do with this that I need you just to understand. What I'm trying to do is just to show you how to do it and then you can do whatever you want in terms of what's going to go inside. A lot of people use photos um, and those are really just lovely. You could probably print them using the print then cut and cut them out out of printable vinyl, which uh, is definitely an option to do like a memory one. And then a lot of people will put little things on the inside, whether it's uh, like little snowflakes or maybe some glitter or something. And uh, so there's a lot of options here. I just want you to understand the uh, the technique. Okay. So we're going to go over to Cricut Design Space and we're going to look at this, uh, at this particular file that I've created under my Miss Rita to the Rescue profile in Design Space. I wanted you to, to, um, really understand too about something called the Cricut community because the Cricut community is going to be a bigger and bigger as time goes on. And I want, um, I want you to understand it. So the Cricut community is a, um, is a place it's fairly new. I'm just going to go over here to home. Um, this is the home page on Cricut Design Space. I know a lot of people when they log in, they're just looking at their canvas, but the Cricut homepage is full of all kinds of wonderful things for you to explore, including a ton, a ton of um, ideas from professional creators uh, like myself. And you can see here, um, here I am 
this Mary and Bright Rudolph uh, card and gift tag that we did. And then here's my friend, uh, Fiona, who does Hannah Lou. And she is, uh, she, you know, this one says Slay Girl Slay. And this is a place where you can get come and get inspired and really just get a lot of ideas. The great thing about of uh, doing crafts is that there's a lot of inspiration that floats around between one designer and another. And you, uh, you need to start thinking of yourself as a designer. And so this is a place that you can come and have a look. Now you also see things like trending on social. So these here is actually a floating ornament that, um, that someone did, I believe it's floating. And then you'll see like cricket employee creations. And then you'll also see community projects. Okay. If you want to see more in the community projects, you can, there's over 65,000 projects listed here from everyone, all kinds of people. And it could be a place where you share your projects as well. It's where I share my projects. And so I wanted to show you how to get into it. Now let's have a look at my profile. Cause that's the first step of creating a, um, creating a profile and being a part of the community. So um, this is my profile. You can see I have this Mary Ann Bright image here and you can change that if you want. You can change your picture. You can edit your profile. So you just click on edit profile and then you can just add your name and your description where you're located and you can decide to be public or private. So I'm set for public. My name, even though my name is Rita Cavicchio, it's listed as Miss Rita to the rescue. And then I have a little description here and it shows where I'm from and I have the show location and show the date toggled on. Okay. Now, um, the other thing that's really fun about the community is you get people who follow you and also you can follow people back. So right over here, you'll see followers and following. So I'm going to click on mine and see who my newest followers are. Um, there's Jennifer. Welcome. Harsh, Harshna um, and Janice and Wendy, Shonda, and Gayla, Christina, Tracy, Shannon, Kim, Katrina. Is that two Katrinas? Oh no, Christina and a Katrina. Kimberly, Wendy, I'd recognize Wendy, and MJ Graham. So those are my latest followers. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. And um, you also get your name in to... Uh, into a drawing. We do a drawing every week and the person that wins the drawing gets a Cricut Cutie from my stash plus a few other fun things that I send out to you. Just kind of, I find them around my around my studio. That's different. This weekly giveaway is different than the monthly giveaway. The monthly giveaway is a large prize and you all can, are able to enter into the prize, you would just go here to, um, let's see, let me just go over to um, Cricut. So you can see what you are going to win. So Cricut um, has these bundles and I don't know if you've seen them, but a lot of people are buying bundles this time of year. If you go under sale and choose bundles, you'll see a lot of these machine bundles and then there's material bundles. Um, this is the bundle that I'm giving away from now until the end of next year. It's the Cricut Maker 3 Everything Bundle. It includes the Maker 3 and because it's a 3, so the Maker and the Explore 3 and the Joy, those are the only three machines that use smart materials. So because these are smart material um, 
items, then you'll get also all the smart vinyl, smart iron on and smart paper, as well as what's called the learning plan. And the learning plan is, let me just show you. Uh, the learning plan is actually cut is based on three different kits. So there's an iron on kit, there's a paper kit, and there's a vinyl kit. Now each of these kits will work with um, with the three machines, okay, because they have smart materials in them. So I'm also going to throw in one of these kits to whoever wins for December, and I'll do the same in January. Right now, the iron-on kit won't be available until January. The kits work in conjunction with uh, in Cricut Design Space, if we go, let's go back to our canvas and you can see right up here on the right hand side where it says learning plan and this is the learning plan. So you can use the kits in conjunction with the learning plan. To do the learning plan, it's free, but the kits cost money. Okay, so if you don't have a, an Explore 3, Maker 3, or even a Joy, um, and you, you, you'll you see some parts of the videos that are specifically for smart vinyl, but there are other things in here that are really um, useful. So don't be, you know, don't shy away from the learning uh, plan here if you just want to learn how to make your first project these were created to help you get started we're going to talk a little bit more about these after christmas so that you can um like we can grab all the new folks that maybe they've never done anything and they just received a brand new machine and we're going to talk about that um after christmas okay so let's go to our project this is actually a different project i want to make sure that i find my project. I'm going to go to my projects and I'm going to pick up the floating ornament. There it is. Floating, floating snowflake ornament. Now, as I mentioned um, at the beginning, you're going to need some sort of, of a craft bobble. This is a bobble, a ball, and you take the top off here. You can use the ones that come in halves and put them together if you want to, but I found a way to put this in here um, just like this. So let's go ahead and go into that file. So um, for this, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. I found a bunch of snowflakes that I want to cut out and put onto my acetate. So the first thing that I had to figure out is how to get those snowflakes on the inside. So I decided that I was going to use acetate, which is very bendy and will work really well in side of the ornaments but I wanted I didn't want to just drop it in there and not have a handle so here is the little handle that I put on there let me just show it to you in the acetate that I cut out you see here this is I actually cut out the acetate foil acetate and then I put this little square how did I do that all I did was go over to shapes and I chose a circle and then I went to shapes again and I chose a square. Now, this takes a little trial and error. I don't even know what size these are, but in terms of like from the manufacturer, I did get these from uh, Michaels. And when I hold them against my uh, my ruler, they are four inches wide, but I wanted to make the inside, I wanted to make it so that it, it floats on the inside. So what I ended up doing was making, uh, the width three and almost three quarters. So like 3.65, because then it allows it to move along. Okay. And then, so there I'm going to make my circle 3.65. Here we go. 3.65. So there is my circle. Let me just move my snowflakes. Okay. 
And then I took this square, which I'm going to unlock and I'm just going to make it sort of like a rectangle on its side. And um, I also measured right here and I found out that that piece is about three quarters of an inch wide. So I'm going to change it to 0 0.75. And um, then I'm going to just put this right on the top. And you see here, it's just going to be right there on the top. Then I'm going to select both of these. And I am going to come down here to combine. And I'm going to weld it. Now, this is going to be the acetate that gets cut. You see here, it's about the same. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut these. The the uh, gray color here is what we're cutting um, out in the acetate. And then here the snowflakes will be cutting out in um, in shimmer vinyl, the smart vinyl, just so that you can see how this is done. We'll just use a few of these. So let's use let's do just like, I don't know, two here. Well, I like this one. I know I love all snowflakes and it's kind of fun. So let's just grab this. We'll group it and hide it. And I'll also duplicate this because we're making two of them. Okay. So then we hit make it. And you can see here that because I have the maker three, I can do a couple of things here. I can cut this on the mat or I can cut it on uh, no mat. So for the acetate, we're going to cut it on the mat because there is no such thing as smart acetate. So let's change this to four just so that we can have we can have uh, four pieces to work with. And um, so all I did was change the project copies to two. Now on the snowflakes, I'm going to change my material load type to without the mat because I am going to be using smart vinyl to cut these out. And I'm just moving these around because then it gives it an, enough space. So this is the smart vinyl that I'm going to use and it is called Shimmer and it's light blue. Now, all shimmer vinyl is a little difficult to remove with regular transfer tape. So I wanted to point out that anytime you buy a shimmer roll, you'll see inside this strong grip strip transfer tape. So that's what we're going to use to apply it to our acetate. So let's hit continue. And before we go ahead and get uh, cutting, I want to show you something about acetate. So acetate comes in all different, or it has, I don't know if it's still available, but you can see here that Cricut came up with all of these different foil acetates. This was the first one they came up with. It's called foil acetate because of the decoration on the acetate. This was the first one they had, it's called Bejeweled. But then they came up with a few others. This one here is called the Confetti Sampler. And then this one, which is the one actually we're gonna be using, is called Love Note Sampler. So what this is, let me just open this is acetate is a very thin plastic and it cuts really beautifully on your Cricut. Let me just grab this one. I think I'm going to use this one because it's kind of pink and I thought I saw a different one here, but wait a second. I still have that really bad cut on my finger and so it makes it kind of difficult. Anyway, um, this you could choose. Oh, this is cute. Maybe we should choose this one in the pink. Oh, this one, this one we'll choose. Okay, so obviously you can get acetate that is plain. You can also get that from Cricut. Here it is, it's clear acetate. Before you start working with the acetate, you have to get a weeding tool and you have to look on the little, see right here on the side, there's a little 
piece and it is a protective coating. So you have to figure out where it is and grab your weeding tool. So here's my me with my weeding tool. I'm trying to grab it. And it's kind of important that you take this off. Which is, I don't know. Here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. There is the plastic and it's coming off like that. Okay. You want to do this before you cut. Although you could cut it, but it wouldn't cut all the way through. You'd have to add more pressure. Okay, so we're just going to get, I think I'll get a strong grip mat for this. So here's my strong grip mat. And I'm going to place it right here on my strong grip mat. You can use the brayer if you wanted. If you're unsure if it was going to move, maybe your mat isn't that sticky anymore. You can use masking tape to hold it down. Okay, so let's go on over to, oh no, I'm going to go back to my um, screen so you can see. So for this one here, you can see it's just uh, for the acetate. I'm going to go browse all materials and I can just type in right up here, acetate. And you will see there's acetate and there's foil acetate. So this is foil acetate because it is um, decorated. So we're going to choose that one. Okay. And we'll say done. And then we'll come over to the machine. So here's my machine. And um, I am going to cut this on the machine using my strong grip mat. So here we go. We're going to load it. And then when it's ready, we're going to hit this button so that it will start. The play button. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's the go button. I call it the play button because it looks like the play symbol. Okay, so we're going to hit that button. And it is going to go around and cut our, um, cut our acetate. And then we're going to be using the smart vinyl. So I'm going to get that ready. This comes in a three foot roll and uh, which is quite a lot for you to use. And it's just mm, fun. It's fun to work with. So anyway, um, you can see that it's cutting out just great. And so while this is cutting out, I this is my opportunity to talk. Um, so I hope you all are doing well. I'm sorry I can't see the comments and everything, um, but I am doing well, although we're getting down to the wire in terms of the holiday. And I still don't have my tree up. Oh, my gosh. So, um, so Santo is coming back from the Dominican Republic uh, tomorrow. And hopefully the first thing he's going to do after he checks my heat, because it hasn't been working so great, um, is get my Christmas tree up so that I can decorate it. And then I still haven't done any of my shopping yet. So i got to work on that. So there it is. Woo, isn't that great? It's so nice. It's going to look really nice. Now, obviously, if you wanted to do a true floating ornament, you could use the just plain clear acetate. But I kind of like this. It gives it a little extra pizzazz. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose my smart vinyl shimmer um you can't see that but i'm using smart vinyl in shimmer and i'm going to just go ahead and put this right on in here and hit load and then it will cut out so i was looking at my calendar and also talking to my friend wendy who has a shop down in PVD Square. So um, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on what's going on. Uh, so this Saturday, if you are local and you have a young one, like a grand or something, um, or maybe your mom, doesn't matter, you can, uh, you can see me. Hey, hey, hey. You can see me in person dressed as Mrs. Claus. 
I hope my wig comes in time. I heard my costume is coming on on Wednesday. Hey, you guys, stop it, stop it. Um, but the wig is coming from California. I don't know if it's going to come in time, but it, it's pretty exciting. So um, I'm going to be there from 10 to 12, and I'll make sure that there's video um, and so you can see it. And there was also lunch with, I'm sorry, breakfast with Santa Claus and we're going to do some crafts and we have um, a lot of fun time and there is a limit to the number of kids that can be part of this so there's like 15 uh, 15 openings and they're selling fast so I thought I would just tell you if you're local and you want to bring your grand or your little to breakfast with Santa this will be a fun thing this is going to be um, Wendy's last her very last uh, project or uh, workshop of the year. She's going to be closing for three weeks and is not offering any workshops for three weeks. So um, if you want to just see what's going on with Wendy then or with me, you can see me this coming uh, Saturday in person. Then next week, the week before Christmas, I am going to be taking a few days off. I'm going to be taking Monday, Tuesday off of next week. So I will only be here Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before the holiday. We'll also be, um, we'll also be picking the winner of the December giveaway. Uh, on I think it's on Friday before the holiday so then obviously the holiday which is on the weekend so I'll be back on Boxing Day which is the Monday um, which is the 26th of December but I'm not so sure what's going to happen with uh, the rest of the week because I made plans to go visit my sister in New Hampshire I know we had talked about um, doing a project on New Year's Eve, but Wendy doesn't, she's just really tired and she wants to um, take some time off. So I don't know what we're going to do for New Year's Eve. I'm still working that out. Okay. So here we go. I'm just peeling off. Isn't this is so satisfying to just do this and we're going to peel and you'll notice that it's, it's silver on the back. So the back of this snowflake ornament will be just as pretty with the silver all right so there it is that's all extra and I need to just weed in between these pieces some a few places where the weeding didn't happen all that well and then also the inside pieces which is what I'm doing this is called weeding if you've never seen it before it does weed a little bit differently this is the um this is the shimmer vinyl so um all I'm doing is picking up these pieces right here and getting ready to transfer it to my acetate all right Uh, okay. This part here is usually where I talk. <laughs> um, but I just told you all the stuff that I wanted to tell you, which was um, next week it will be like an abbreviated week uh, for Cricut Chat because I've got to get my butt in gear for the holiday. I've got like no shopping done. This is very unusual for me. Um, so I need to kind of get things sort of cleaned up and out and ready in my house and this will be the first year in a long time in a couple of years last year I had COVID so I wasn't able to um to have a get together so uh I really like to do a big family Christmas thing so we're still talking with my sister about something having to do that she uh she's coming might be coming from New Hampshire and then we might be going back up there in the middle of the week. Owen said that he wants to go up there. He wants to go snowmobiling. All right. So here are our four snowflakes and our four acetate rounds, you see, and 
this is the strong grip transfer tape. I've already used some of it, but it comes in a 12 by 12 inch sheet. So I'm just going to cut this. I hope I cut it big enough. I did. So you don't have to worry about running out and grabbing some strong grip transfer tape, but it is available if you want to buy it separately. And then, um, cause it comes in the, in the, in the roll. This also is the case for not smart materials and shimmer, right? So if you buy shimmer, anything, you'll find this strong grip transfer tape. And then what we do is we put the tape on there and we're going to burnish really well here we go and then we're going to turn this around see how I'm doing that upside down and peel away the backing just like that and then we're going to take our acetate now you could do this one of two ways you could actually place it like this on there um, or you could do, this is more, a little more traditional, is hold it above there like that. But I think I'll do just the placement. So I want to make sure I got the correct front of that. And this looks pretty good right here. To me, anyway. So it might be a little bit off. All right. So then we're just going to... Remove the transfer tape. Oh, I have to tell you something that's kind of funny. Um, I was in Salem picking up Owen. He went to visit his friend in Salem, and I always pick him up. And um, I saw a car that had two of my vinyl decals on it. And I was trying to figure out who it was because they were like local vinyl. Uh, so for like PBD uh, my group PBD times and also the, um, the green PBD one. And I made, but you know what? They had it on there and they left the transfer tape right on there. I, I was like, ah, I wanted to just like get out of the car and say to them, Oh, you know, you're doing, you did this wrong. Thank you for putting, but I didn't have time for that. So <laughs> I was, Salem can be quite trafficy even um, in the non holiday time. And their holiday is, is Halloween by the way. And uh, so, <laughs> so, but even at Christmas, it's still pretty busy uh, around here, around there. Salem is right next door to my hometown, which is Peabody, Massachusetts. And uh, so my son really likes to go to Salem and visit his friends there. So here we go. There's another one. Might be the exact same one, but I'm just going to place it like this. I do it both ways to show you both ways. And peel this off just like this. See? And now we have an acetate circle. Look at it on the back. It looks pretty cool, right? Then we're going to take our bulb. This is, these are the bulbs that I got. They came from, from Michael's. I, I looked and looked and looked at the, at this and I see nothing here about the size, but if this, makes any sense to you there's 12 in here so they're really rather big normally you buy them and they are like 24 in there but i got the big ones i thought they would be fun to work with so i'm going to take the top off and reserve it and then i'm going to take my little acetate snowflake and i'm just going to gently roll it up like this with this is the tab that we're going to hold on to. Okay. And then we're just going to push it through the opening. Hold that tab. And then while you're holding the tab, you can straighten it out. And there it is. Now you can then uh, cut the extra tab off. 
and all you have to do is put this on the top. Now, obviously, as I mentioned to you guys, you could change this, but this was just my simple, this is how you do it. You can make these as personable as you like um, and, you know, do whatever you want. If you have a family picture, you want to put somebody that you've lost or even a dog or a cat or something like that, you can do that. You could also fill with little like glitter or if you wanted to so that when you moved it it would have the glitter at the bottom or and you could also even do something on the outside of it after you did the inside so let me just show you that again let's grab our uh, plain bobble and here we go I'm just going to roll it just be gentle with it it shouldn't have any problems but just kind of be gentle. And then we're going to put it in sort of like a message in a bottle. And we just press it in and you'll notice that it comes undone just by itself like that. Now, if the, if the circle is too big, you will have it sort of uh, not... I don't know how to explain it, but it just won't fit. It won't float in there. And so you have to make the circle ever so slightly smaller. So if you're going to do this with a different size bulb, then um, you need to make that accommodation. It's a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit of, whoops, I want to just put this right. It's a little bit of like trial and error. Um, but you want them to be sort of floating around on the inside like this. There's so many opportunities for you to do um, different things here. So I wanted to just kind of show you and let your imagination sort of take hold from there. But isn't that cute? This cute little floating ornament. Really like it. All right. So that is my project for today. But I wanted to come back and uh, show you what's on tap for tomorrow. Tomorrow, and by the way, you can pick up this floating ornament file in the community, right? I'm going to save it and you can pick that up. Um, I'm also going to come here and just show you, this is called the detail page. So this is the detail page of my project. So you see, I can put in here, I go here to edit project details. So I'm going to click on that and this is where I can add a picture. I already have a picture in there, but I have others. So I wanted to show you how to put that in. So I'm going to click on that and this brings up my photos on my computer. Um, and you'll see here at the bottom, I have a lot of pictures, but there's several pictures down here. So I am going to choose another one because you can have as many pictures, I think, as you want. Uh, maybe there's a limit. I don't know what the limit is. I haven't reached it yet. But um, there you go. There's another look at it. And then you can name your project and add a description. So I have a little description that I always add. And then I will go in there and explain a little bit how to do it. And then I choose tags. Tags are super easy. All you do is you go click on that box and you type in something. Oh, I don't know. Christmas we did holidays. How about holiday? Holiday, get holidays. So you type in a letter or word and then uh, the existing tab will, will show up. You click on that and it adds it to your tags. If you have one in there that you don't want, you can X out and they will come out. And then you just save it. And by saving it, you have all the details of your project in there, but you haven't, maybe haven't shared it in Design Space. This is important. This is where you need to 
turn it on. And here's a little toggle switch. You're going to just move that toggle switch. You get a pop-up window that says this project is visible on your profile and blah, blah, blah. You hit OK. And then you got like this glitter makes you feel good that it is showing up. And let's go to my profile again just to see if it shows up. It usually if you've made something, yep, it's right down here in my project. Okay, so I have over 600 projects here in uh, Design Space that you can come and look at all of my projects and like them or save them by liking them. So here's one that recently uh, somebody liked. And so um, if you heart it or you can save it, hearting means you like. And if you have this little bookmark, it means you save it. Okay, so this is where you would do it. And then if you wanted to share something like of mine or of yours to somebody else, you hit that little share arrow and it will bring you to this menu option where you can either copy the link or you can uh, have it go straight to Facebook or Pinterest. So this is what I usually do. I copy the link and then I go to my, um, let's go to my YouTube and here we go. All right. So, um, it, I'm just back here looking at the comments. Okay. So some other people have used different things. What they're saying is that they've used uh, what was the thing that, that I just saw Gloria said she used? Um, let's see. Love the shimmer. Okay. Um, and let's see. Crafting with April. Of course we need crafting with April. Um, and let's see, where else is there? Uh, I don't know. I don't see it. So Gloria had a good comment here. This is Cricut Chat with Miss Rita and part of the fun is the chatting. And so I would encourage you to um to check out the chat and it is available after the show is done. So there you go. Um let me just ask you guys since I was um not reading the comments, did you find that the video was better? Thank you, Gloria. So Gloria says she's used waterproof inkjet transparency film. I just used the acetate. I think it worked out pretty well. But um, have you guys found that the video is better or worse? Or it's better? It's better? All right. Better video today. Okay. So I think I've isolated the problem. Um, and that is my laptop. The video is much better. No lagging on the video and sound was great. Okay, good. Um, better, way better. All right. Awesome. Okay. So I guess I'm just going to have to take my, my junky old laptop out of the mix and figure out a way to, uh, read the comments other than just what, maybe I can put my iPad on and have a look at that. Um, so that is it for me for today's project. I wanted to show you tomorrow's project. So let's go there. We're doing a Santa key, um, Santa's magic key. So this is something that I found on Pinterest. So this is a Pinterest in inspired. And we're going to turn it into an ornament. We're going to make a little tag that has our gold vinyl the adhesive foil that we got in the last mystery box. And you can either buy the keys or you can make them. And I've included the keys so that you can make them. So this is tomorrow. Um, so the idea here is that um, some kids, as we know, will be very literal and they want to know how does Santa get in to um, 
to the house if we have no chimney. So um, they people have come up with this magic key. Now I found this image about the magic key. I made a few changes, and then here also have the um, the key itself. And I'm going to actually make this with craft board in the middle so that it'll be nice and sturdy. And then I'm going to cut this out in vinyl, and we're going to put it all together tomorrow. Okay, so that's it for me for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's project. If you have, make sure you like this video. If you um, aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I am trying to reach my goal of 25,000. I'm close, but not close enough. And I really would just love the help of you sharing uh, the video, telling folks about me. I really appreciate it. I am just trying to reach that 25,000 subscribers and it's taking a while and I'm like just getting a little bit antsy there. So I just thought I would tell you um, that I need your help. I need your help. All right, everybody. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you again, uh, tomorrow at nine o'clock. Okay. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.